So this is our second lecture in this chapter on the equilibrium of a particle. It really boils down to not a free body diagram, but a free point diagram. And uh, for that point, we can have the equilibrium equations, meaning that the sum of the forces in the x equal to zero, the sum of the forces in the coordinate y direction equal to zero, and if you have some of the forces in the z, if you have a 3D, those are equilibrium equations. We started off just solving two-dimensional, so forget the third, just solve it, some of the forces x, some of the forces in the y equal to zero. We solved some problems last time. So let's take a look at this problem. First of all, you have the four-foot cord length supports the 10-pound block at D. So this is the at D, and so we know the weight of this block at D. It's 10 pounds, and that's 10-pound force down. Okay. Uh, they give us this information that there's a cord that supports the, the, the block at D, but its length of the cord is four foot. So let's find our cord. Um, it looks like it starts right here at D, goes up. What is right here at point C? A pulley. It goes around the pulley. Is that a frictionless pulley? We don't have frictional pulleys yet. We have frictionless pulleys. All right. And then we come down. The cord continues around this frictionless pulley, and then the cord comes up and ties in to a support. So did I stretch the entire length of that cord? And what you have to do is read the problem carefully. It says the cord length, the total cord length is four foot. So right here, going from point D up to point C, I know maybe we should move this a little bit up here, but what's that length of that section of the cord? 1.5 foot. What is the length of this section going from this pulley down to this pulley back up? The V part of the cord. Is it four foot length? Or no, no, it's four foot minus one and a half, isn't it? So that total length of the blue is 4 minus 1.5. That's equal to 2.5. Did I do the math right? Is that 2.5 foot? OK. So if that's 2.5 foot, what is the distance between A and B? And then compare that to the distance between A and uh, or B and C. Going down, it looks like this pulley at B is smack dab in the middle. There's no reason for it to be shifted to one side or the other, right? And so what we have is we have this length right here is 1.25 foot, and the length right here is 1.25 foot. They, they probably were thinking, oh, this distance was 1.25 foot. Is that right? No. And, and, and what you have is, after you, have to, you read the problem and, and look at it a little bit and take your time and understand the problem, you see you have a right triangle. You have two of them right there. And the hypotenuse of those two right triangles is 1.25 foot. That's a key to solving this problem. So that now when we come in here and we think about, okay, I'm really going to be interested in some of this angle I think is going to be really important, this angle theta. It's just the same as that angle theta on a right triangle. Um, can you tell me what is that angle theta? I know that I haven't clarified why I need that yet, but can you tell me how to get theta, assuming I'm going to need it? What, what is theta going to be? Let me pause, walk around. I really want you to do this. All right, so I'll pick it up right here. What, what most of you have picked up was this length is uh, 0 0.5 foot, and this length right here is 0 0.5 foot. They sum to 1 foot, and now you look at this and you say, aha, that is my opposite. That's my hypotenuse, right? The sine of theta is the opposite, 0 0.5 divided by the hypotenuse, 1.25. And then you take the arc sine to get theta, arc sine, A sine 0.5 divided by 1.25. I think 
23.6, you would keep more digits in your calculator than three, but 23.6 and, and keep more digits. Okay. Now, uh, here is the question. I finally get to the question, but I think we needed to get that so we can answer the question. What's the weight of block at B? What's going to be the strategy to get the weight at block at B? Get a free point diagram or free body diagram. You want to call it some sophisticated, which it's just a particle at this point. What's the particle going to be? You could actually do this. You could shrink the pulley and B all the way down to just a point. Or you could do the cut at the pulley, and then you go through this concept of the weight, the, the, the tension in the cable holding the, uh, the weight up is just the way to be. Either one. Both of those are essentially equivalent. Um, but you get a something that's like here. This is the weight on my package. At I'm getting so cluttered up I can't see anymore. There's my letter B, isn't it? And then we're going to have theta, theta, and we'll have tension, tension. Are those two tensions the same? Sure. They're the, around a frictionless pulley, the tension in the cable doesn't change. And then you come over here, and you, are, you could have done a free body diagram of this weight at D, and you find that the tension is equal to the weight of the package at D, so the tension is 10 pounds. So the tension in the cable is 10 pounds. Over here, it's 10 pounds, 10 pounds. So at that point, I want to calculate the weight of the block at B. What I'm going to do is pause, let you finish out the problem. So what we want to do is we want to decompose this force right here, this tension force, into a component that's per, 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 only in the Y and only in the X. Hey, that's our same right triangle we just had. That's why we got the angle theta. <laughs> and that theta was 23.6 degrees. So, so basically, we're going to have uh, this pulling up. Uh, it'll be the tension force, which is 10 pounds times the cosine of theta for the cable on the right plus the tension force times the cosine of theta for the cable on the left of the pulley. So two of them pulling up. Some of you just put two in front of that. And then that's what's balancing the weight of the block B pulling down. This equation is the sum of the forces in the y direction must equal to zero. The ups must equal the downs. The weight of the block is equal to 2 times the tension we calculated to be 10 pounds times the cosine of 23.578 degrees. And when you run that, 18.3 pounds.